Leaders return to the scene of the city's latest mass shooting earlier today, and we had the district attorney, the mayor, and several anti-gun violence activists were there, and all of them putting pressure on state lawmakers to do something about gun reform. The question is, what happens after today? The intersection of Broad and Alney is where eight people were shot around 3 p.m. on Wednesday of last week. And it's also where this afternoon leaders across the city of Philadelphia gathered to highlight what could be its biggest challenge. We're here today because we must rise together with one clear and united moral voice against the evil of, evil of acts of violence. Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw says detectives need help finding the suspects from last week's shooting. Investigators think these three shot eight people. They also say that they were last seen in this vehicle. This is not normal. And we should never allow ourselves to believe anything otherwise. Not even a full two months into the year, Philadelphia has already marked more than 300 shootings. Now leaders are putting the spotlight on Harrisburg, arguing state legislators need to do more. It's real simple. 26 senators, 102 House members, and we can pass gun laws. But some state lawmakers have already proposed laws. So we ask, if those measures don't pass the legislator, what will leaders do next to end gun violence? If it doesn't pass, the, the law enforcement will do what it can. There are, we have provided funding for organizations like uh, Ceasefire PA. We provided funding for organizations like Put It Down, Mothers in Charge. And those groups that he just mentioned, you know, they also took the podium there and they said that some of the onus is on community members. They say that if community members see something happening in their area, it is also their responsibility to report crimes to police because they argue that's the only way that Philadelphians will be kept safe. We're live in Ogon, Stefania Jimenez, NBC 10 News.